GamesWeasel.com Review Street Fighter 4 on the consoles is probably the best of the entire series, and now it's time for it to migrate to the 3DS and send everyone's eyes a bit wonky. As you'd expect it's not in gorgeous HD, but the graphics are fantastic and the 3D element works well without giving you too much motion sickness. They've even included the dynamic mode which looks at the 2D action from 45 degrees and really gives the game depth in 3D even though it's a bit distracting for people used to fighting side on. If you're not familiar with the game, it's pretty much the same as the console version. The game includes arcade mode where you choose a fighter, beat opponents up, then fight your rival and then the final boss, Seth. The stories are pretty weak but it doesn't really matter why they're fighting, just that they are and it's all great fun. There's also versus mode if you just fancy a quick battle against the CPU, someone else in the same room or someone online. Matchups are random if you choose a ranked internet match and it's a mixed bag as to whether you get a quick, smooth connection or a jerky one depending on where your opponent is in the world. During fights you use the low, medium and hard kicks and punches. The hard attacks can be tricky to execute at times because they're on the shoulder buttons but you can assign sign attacks and ultra and super combos to the touch screen, which really does change the way people play online. Because even someone new to the game can pull off some quite tricky moves, the game becomes more tactical which means a newbie can beat a pro if they get their timings right and have luck on their side. There's something very playable about Super Street Fighter 4 on the 3DS, probably because you can take it anywhere and the battles are over quickly. Perfect for passing the time on short journeys or, if you're a bit weird, funerals. I'd say it's probably the best launch title by far on the 3DS and, with the addition of its figurine collecting minigame and Street Pass battle functionality, even surpasses the console version. So it gets an almost perfect 9 out of 10. You've been watching a review from Games Weasel. If you want to get the show each week, which includes video game reviews, news, previews, competitions, and special features, then head over to gamesweasel.com for our video podcast, Games Weasel TV. Gamesweasel.com.